Should we do a little haul? Should we do a little haul? Should we do a little haul? Very light. Very light. Very light. What is this? <laughs> this is an expensive haul. God damn, it cost me. And I had to pay $30 duty when it arrived here. So add $30 Canadian to the price I'm about to tell you. This thing. Okay. This thing. This thing. Let's do a little comic haul. And for those of you, I might snip this out as a comic haul, right? I might snip this out as a comic haul. So for those of you that are just watching this little snip as a comic book haul, we're doing a movie stream, okay, on Twitch where we're going to be recommending movies. And I got a little package that's related to the comic book hauls that we've been doing, the comic book readings that we've been doing. And it's related to the drug war trading cards that we've been reading, okay? So keep that in mind. It's related to the drug war trading cards and Eclipse Comics, right? Gang, I'm sorry if I'm not reading the chat. Eclipse Comics put out a bunch of other decks of cards. One of them was um, our favorite dictators, and I don't have that one. One of them was uh, comic book legends, creators. I don't have that one. One of them was um, baseball uh, cards, and I don't have those. And we've done the reading for this. By the time this video is uh, upload it there's going to be two live streams of us doing two readings of this the first 18 and the next 18 and then each one of the individual cards loaded up as an individual video right virtua ht thank you very much for twitch prime stop okay now after reading the comic book we saw the ad right i think comic book 53 or something like this it was reading real war stories number two at the back there was an advertisement that they were putting out eclipse comics trading cars drug war trading cars more history in this than all of high school and university uh history class that you will you will you will be taught uh, regarding america's war on drugs and then we bought i ended up getting this one too iran contra scandal we're going to read every single one of these cards again and upload them as individual cards on all the video sharing platforms that we have right so we're going to read this one too and and they had the assassination of JFK. We're gonna read these two every single card and upload them as individual cards on all the video sharing platforms, right? Awesome, awesome. So happy to have these. And and we got another deck. Now these ones, these ones I bought as a as a sort of a lump sum i like a like a bulk i bought them a bulk they ended up costing us including shipping like three dollars per pack okay these guys i forget how much they cost uh, they, they end up costing me 30 40 bucks uh us right so 30 30 40 dollars us okay glad to have these glad to have these this deck it's only one deck ended up costing I paid $140 US plus I think $20 shipping. Okay. Plus when it got here, I have to pay $30 Canadian duty, right? So $30 Canadian, convert that to like $24 US. Uh, let's say $25 shipping. No, uh, let's say $40. So $180 basically this cost. Had to get it. Had to get it. It doesn't even include the box okay doesn't even include the box i'm going to show you what it is had to get it had to get it because once we found out about it there's no way we ain't going to get it let me see if i can open this thing difficult to open what's going on it's locking it up what the? <laughs> let me see if i can open oh there it is it's here let's check it out let's open it here oh there we go let's crack this open let me show you what it is do you guys know what it is the oh oh the coup d'etat cards are amazing look at this package like this not bad hopefully they're packaged nicely okay okay okay, okay. he's got them on a bubble wrap they do, they're not in a deck are they just loose Oh, he's got him in a bag. Nice. 
He's got him in a bag. And this is the deck of cards. I need to get the box as well. I need to get the box as well. Basically $180 US for this. Rotten to the core trading cards. Okay. Now, why is this so expensive? Let me crack this open. There should be 36 cards here, just like the rest of them. Okay. It's the cheapest I could find. It's the cheapest I could find. Okay. Let me make sure all the cards here. One, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, let's see which card we're looking for. Let's see which card we're looking for. And these are dirty, rotten scoundrels. Some of the dirtiest people in New York City, I believe. It's supposed to be, right? I'm going to show you two of them because they're the most expensive ones. Oh, where is he? He's way down the road. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> oh, and the card's in really good shape. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, let, before I show you this one, let me show you the other one. Who's this? Where is the other one? Where is the other one? Oh, he's the last one. Check this out. So, the card number 36. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Rudolph Giuliani. Right? That's one of them. Now, before we look at the other one, gang, don't forget... Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, please see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on CensorTube. Now, the Rudy Giuliani card is fetching a fair bit of price. But nothing compared to this card. These came out in 19... When did they come out? 1989. 1989, New York. Who's one of the most corrupt people that you know of that has this base in New York? Or had their base in New York and now they're in Florida. Ready? 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 Card number six. Real estate tycoon donald trump no way it's the donald trump indeed donald trump from 1989 i'm assuming this is a rookie card <laughs> we're gonna read every single one of these cards gang there's a lot of players in this deck right there's a lot of players in this deck donald trump trump without question this card fetches a pretty heavy price pretty heavy price <laughs> regardless well this is back in 89 he wasn't as uh, as plump as he is now right we're going to read this whole deck okay and we're going to read the rest of the decks i had to get this i don't collect trading cards but as soon as we read it we had to get it right you i was worried he wouldn't be in there oh man i'd be worried too i would have that would have sucked totally that would have sucked totally very high. expensive expensive what the stream about today we're doing movies but i had to show you guys this rotten to the core that's what the trading card is called the deck okay 
and I don't have the box. I'm sorry, I couldn't afford to get the one with the box. <laughs> Movie nominations, gang, let's do them. Let's do them. <laughs> 